Welcome back to CoGrid folks. Brace yourself for an exciting journey as we delve into the realm of web design enchantment. In this tutorial, you'll discover how to craft a captivating website loader animation with a block reveal effect using some simple green sock and vanilla JavaScript. So without wasting much time, let's dive right into it. We'll kick off by adding a counter with plans to update it dynamically using JavaScript. Next, we will add an overlay with 10 divs inside as bars. Later, we will set their widths to 10bw using CSS, ensuring that they cover the entire viewport width. Now that we've completed the loader part, let's add some additional elements to prevent our page from appearing empty. To enhance the overall appearance, we'll include a navigation bar, a header section, and an image. For the header, instead of using a standard H1 heading, we'll construct individual divs, each containing a letter of the header text. This technique will enable us to animate the letters later on, using Greensock's stagger functionality. For the CSS, let's begin with our usual routine by removing margins and paddings from all elements and setting the box sizing property to border box. For the body element, we'll set the width and height to cover the entire viewport and apply overflow hidden to prevent unnecessary scrolling. Additionally, we'll add a background color to enhance the visual aesthetics of our page. To style our navigation bar, we'll set its position to fixed, ensuring it remains at the top of the page. Additionally, we'll set its width to 100% to span across the entire viewport. To align the child divs within the navigation bar, we'll utilize the power of Flexbox. To refine the appearance of our anchor tags, we'll remove the default text decoration. We'll also set a desired color and font family to enhance the visual style. To structure our header, we'll set its width to 100% to ensure it spans the entire width of the container. We'll also re-employ Flexbox to list the individual letter elements. To add style to our individual letters within the header, we'll customize the font family, font size, color, and line height properties. To enhance the hero image, we'll set its width to match the width of the header with some additional padding and margin for visual spacing. Additionally, we'll apply a border to the image container. The image should cover the entire width of its parent so we will set width and height to 100%. To optimize the overlay element, we'll set its width and height to cover the full viewport, ensuring it occupies the entire screen space. Additionally, we'll utilize Flexbox to display the block's inline. We'll configure each bar within the overlay to have a width of 10 viewport width and a height of 100 VH. Given that we have 10 bars in total, this setup will ensure that they collectively cover the entire overlay element. To position the counter, we'll set its position fixed. We'll also configure it to have a width and height of 100% to ensure it covers the entire viewport, so that by utilizing Flexbox, we can easily position the counter at the bottom right corner using FlexM. Don't forget to update the color, padding, and font styles to make it look aesthetic. Let's implement the JavaScript code responsible for playing the counter. Inside the start loader function, we'll begin by selecting the counter element using query selector. We'll also initialize a variable current value with an initial value of zero. Next, we define the update counter function. Within this function, we check if the current value has reached 100. If it has, we exit the function. Otherwise, we increment current value by a random number between 1 and 10 using floor. To ensure the counter does not exceed 100, we set current value to 100 if it goes over that value. We update the text content of the counter element to reflect the new current value. To create a delay between each update of the counter, we generate a random delay value between 50 and 250 milliseconds using floor. We then use set timeout to call update counter again after the delay. Finally, we call update counter once to kickstart the animation. To initiate the loader animation, 
we invoke the start loader function. To add the animations, we will use GSAP to slowly fade out the counter after a delay of 3 seconds as a starting point. Once the counter fades out, we will update the height of the blocks. Remember to add the stagger so that each block animates with a specific delay in between. Later, we will animate the header letters with some stagger to be revealed after the blocks animating. Finally, we animate the hero image in the same manner. That's it. 